You have to be very careful. These are called anecdotes. Because of 
They are doing it because you buy it. It means nothing. I want to tell you something very interesting. 1969, I was a five-year medical student in Sharapati. We were introduced to a medicine called encephalol. Encephalon is brain, or bone still in the brain. It's a medicine inside is called paracetam. Oh, you recognized it. Bohinger Ingelheim, a German company, have been trying to sell that drug in Russia, in Bulgaria and Poland, etc. They came to India. They tried to sell that shit to people in coma for two years, severe mental retardation, microcephaly, and cerebral, bolstering brain metabolism. They put a line for non-specific enhancer of brain metabolism. That stuff never worked. Twelve years later, in Columbia University, I participated in a clinical trial. The same bastards are now trying to use it for ADHD. We had 120 children, normal IQ ADHD, 120 children without ADHD. It did not do anything. But guess what? It didn't do anything bad either. No skin rash, no stomach upset, no red blood cells. It's not even toxic. Be careful about medicines that are not even powerful, that are not even potent. Now, the rest of that is being reused. I had a medical affair in Vishakhapatna in December. I had a field day making fun of these guys. Now they are calling it Nootropil, N-O-O-P-R-O-P-I-L. In that I mean, when uh, blood flow through the brain is not going well, because red blood cells are deformed, this medicine will make the red blood cells march like soldiers, that's what they are supposed to do, and blood flow will go through. Fifty years later, the patients are still trying to sell it. In which country? India. You could never get an FDA license on a drug like that. So be careful with medicines that have not gone through FDA, stage 3, stage 2, process, and get a label. If you don't get a label, go buy it. Once you get a label, Ranbakshi and Baba Ram, their pharmaceuticals, anybody will make those medicines. You know that, right? India has successfully defied all patent laws, successfully. But they made an incredible change in each other. They made the shit out of each other. Entire credit goes to Indian pharmaceutical companies. So, sometimes, for the Ganga Vadi Pada, Puja Ramachu. Stimmy. Before somebody put the word stimmy, remember I talked about it? I was upset about the corruption of the English language. Please explain what causes stimming. Some children continue to have stimming despite regular sessions of occupational therapy. Really? Really? Why would occupational therapy work for stimming? Self-stimulatory behaviors are a problem as a result of communication. If a child could communicate with you, he would not stim. If he could communicate with you, autism is a communication disorder manifested by certain abnormal behavior. If you can make him communicate with you, whether you make him communicate with you through picture exchange communication system, or you know, there is an iPad thing called uh, Polo Portugo, or in New York City, the Board of Education gives several augmented communication devices, things that talk for you. You push things and you make a sentence for you. What is Belarian or Makkah? It's a project called Funding from Government of India. Did you hear my question? Did you hear my question? Is it original or is it not? No, it is original. We have seen that. We have seen that. Did you see Pro-Low 4 to go? Yes, we have seen Pro-Low 4 to go. So this is not similar? Yes. God bless India. Okay. So the point is, yes, these high technology companies, uh, you saw the pictures of those eight female fighter pilots. You saw the story about India's India spacecraft on Mars. But heaven said, you can send a spacecraft to Mars 
You see what's going on. Why doesn't somebody work on autism? It's possible. It's possible to use technology to convert the child's needs in a little way to make it into words. But it may not be that important as long as you learn how to behave, how to relate, how to understand the other person. GC, uh, some children continue to have stimming despite regular sessions of occupational therapy. The, the, the occupational therapy is a problem, that's why it's systemic. Am I joking? They're not related. The question is a bad question. Occupational therapy does not go away, does not take it as self-stimulated behavior. Maybe it does during the one hour that the lady is there. Occupational therapy is not necessary. There is no single autistic child in the entire world that at the age of 14 is suffering because he did not have occupational therapy. He can now use his hand. It's a developmental disorder. With development, everything else is good. But if you spend time on those things that are part of development, and forget the behavior, you still have a difficult child at age 7. ABA, 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 behavior. GCCF diet and keeping the child physically active. Whose question? Yours? You look suspicious. Who? Oh. Never mind, it has nothing to do with it. Keeping a child physically active does nothing to a genetic. Keeping the child physically active will do nothing to a miscommunication between systems in the brain. Physical activity is the most overrated shift in the world. If you have a condition, if you have diabetes, then you should walk. If you have diabetic vasculopathy and you are going to have bad teeth and your mother died with gangrene and your aunt had gangrene, and your family had diabetic vasculopathy, start walking. Physical activity for children works. By the way, whoever said this, define physical activity. How could a child be without physical activity? Are you are talking about general gym, a particular exercise routine? No, don't fool yourself. Spend that time and money? Maybe. What else can a parent do to reduce stealing in their children? communication to reduce So work on any which way you can communicate with them. Is there a link between accident and not I'm going to die. May I die? Yes? You can stand up and give a talk on this topic. What was the question? What, the what is the link between vaccination and autism? Vaccination does not cause autism. If you don't back vaccinate your child, your child will die. Is there a discussion here? Give me an answer. Well, I know uh, many families who have gone before vaccination and did, did you just hear what I said? Yes, I did hear, but did their children become doctors? I'm sure they are not your doctor. Yeah, I'm happy that they are not your doctor. They yeah, are not my doctor. But Thank God. They but hear what I said, hear what I said. The answer to this question is, vaccination does not cause autism. But if you don't vaccinate the child, the child will die. Is there a choice? They are chosen that They are very bad, because they are hurting the other children in the community. There are not doctors in the that will not allow you to bring your unvaccinated child to their waiting room. Please about, find another doctor. What about uh, Well, the question is not about the 
I want to listen. Uh, what is what That's is supposed right. to do as young men? That's exactly what I'm going. The American Academy of Pediatrics that drives this question for the last 50 years through their vaccination and immunization therapy puts out guidelines and gives a vaccination schedule. Every pediatrician in America follows it. Yeah. If a particular vaccine, in somebody's opinion, is unnecessary, I am not qualified to debate that. I am not. Because the expert committee 27 people that meet every two years and update their recommendations. The entire world follows them. So, if a particular doctor in Hyderabad is adding two more vaccines, where the heck did they get them from? You can't have a vaccine made. To make a vaccine is that $500 million project. How and where did he make it? Who did he make it for? Which country was it planning to sell? So, I don't believe, I don't believe there are vaccines out there made by the companies that are not necessary. So whatever WHO is listing on their website is false, isn't it? I didn't say that. I said the opposite. Then uh, whatever is there in the WHO list for India, is it appropriate or inappropriate? Yes, Can sir. doctors add whatever they like to their list and what's the meaning of having a list for India? No, 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 no. I think you misheard me. WHO list is the same as the American Academy of Pediatrics list. If a doctor is not following the list, it doesn't matter. We are not arguing about that, are we? No, I am not arguing about that. I said there are vaccines specific to countries. Do we need to follow those lists or not? There may be extra vaccines. Yeah. There that's may be that's exactly what I am yeah. talking There may be extra vaccines. But what does the conversation have anything to talk about? No. So, there's, there's no, an no, audience and no, it's relevant no, that a young parent no, no, has I am being careful protecting the young parents in the room. Yeah. This conversation we have had in the new Yes. It has to do with guidelines, recommendations, science, and following guidelines. And in fact, for the last 20 years, no pediatrician has the balls to argue with that thing. They have it in the wall, they see the systems, it will remind you if you missed one, and the National Vaccination Registry will remind you, New York City. The vaccination registry will remind you without messages. Why? Look how beautiful the country is. Very few vaccine related diseases. One more question. What about the Amish number? What about the Amish? The Amish? The Amish. The Amish? Yeah. yeah. The, Amish, the Amish don't take no. vaccine. Yeah. Any vaccines or some? I don't think they take vaccines at all. I don't think they will be allowed in the school. They don't go to school. They go to their school. They go to their schools. And they have a secret come to it, a secret channel. They get all their medicine from all around there. Possibly. In, in, possibly. Other, in other words, I don't know. I, don't I did know. not know that they both had a tire. I don't know. I don't know. So there are studies that. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Stay with the Amish. Stay with the Amish. Yeah. The Amish got their own problem. No, but see. Wait, wait. Stay with the Amish. Still, some of the young, vulnerable well people in this room do not know the Amish. Well, they don't know, but I, I, I did a no, lot. No. I am a parent of a 17 year old boy with autism. And ever since he's diagnosed, what I read is mostly about autism. So there are so many uh, articles I read. So as a person who reads, I am curious about these people too. I got it. Yeah. I understand you. Yeah. I spend my life with parents like you. Yeah. But I am asking you to be careful. The Amish are a very special story. Do you know who the Amish are? The Amish are the Pennsylvania Dutch. They came to America in the late 1600s. They are very strict. They are very rigid. All the women wear exactly the same dress every day. From the time she becomes mature till she dies, she wears the same, same handkerchief. Same hand, it's not a hat. Same handkerchief. They are highly regulated. The women. The men control them. They do not believe in electricity. They ride in horse-drawn buggies. They make cheese. They are very conscious of the earth. They worship the earth. They make things out of the earth. They grow wheat. They grow rice. They have cows. They make uh, cheese. They sell the cheese. They live with very little budget. Why? You don't need a car. 
and we eat today's milk today. We keep the cheese until tomorrow. And there's hardly any refrigerator. If an Amish girl leaves town and comes to New York City, 100 people follow her. They take her back. It's a very restricted community that chooses to live in this heavenly city. Now, am I going to stand there and watch what the Amish do and follow and bring any of that information to you? I will never. Because the Amish have their own diseases. In the Japan, men are gone. Inbreeding. With a lot of inbreeding. Because the Amish will never marry a Presbyterian, he will not marry an Episcopalian, he will not marry a Catholic. He has to marry the Amish. There are not many Amish left. Why the children all run away? You don't go there. The Amish have a very difficult job. Okay. But what are your thoughts about savant ability and would interventions be any different for a kid with savant ability? Do you want to make him less of a savant? Why do you want him to be? A savant is an autistic child who has extraordinary skills in a certain area, like number theory, like remembering pages of numbers. Why would you want to do that? I did not understand the question. What are your thoughts about savant ability and would interventions be any different for a kid with savant ability? Such children also have other behavioral problems. They don't get long well. They are loners. They do not socialize well. Yes, there should be interventions for that. But don't make him less of a savant. You cannot actually. If there are no classical problems, the child does not use one of legs while creeping. Serious problem. Serious problem that needs an immediate diagnosis. Parent, when my child sleeps on the floor, moves and bends the left leg and just drags the right leg, no bending of knee. Driving happens only during sleeping. Please tell the child has uneven pieces on his buttocks and his hip size is smaller on the right. You got serious problems later. This needs a diagnosis. What's a diagnosis? You're still discussing symptoms. What's a diagnosis? This is a neurological condition that has affected the growth. That's why the uneven increases and one thing is bad that was bad and not as good as the other. Why? If I am a fetus and if I have a problem on the left side of my leg, my right side does not move. So the right side that is not moving doesn't grow as much. And the hip joint is a ball and socket joint. The socket and the ball. If it's not moving, the the socket is not deep enough, it's shallow. So after you are born, it easily dislocates. Congenital hip dislocation is not a hip problem, it's a brain problem. So this case is a pleasure for a neurologist to figure out. He must see a pediatric neurologist as soon as possible. But why are you shaking your head? There's no pediatric neurologist. There's no special. We are looking at one of the few child problems in the country right now, how to be a matter of effort today. In other words, pediatricians are their only hope. And if he's a good pediatrician, he has a neurology interest, understands the brain better, he may be diagnosed. This is a serious neurological condition. This is not a developmental disability. This is an injured brain, either at birth or before. The child crawls and walks properly, however, he loses control. When he walks down a ramp, a three years genetic disorder. It's not a good story. It's inconsistent. Some sentences are incongruent with the other sentences. So I would like to tell this parent, this child needs a diagnosis. Go back to the doctor and do not accept parva lejo, parva vundi, malli Bangalore is scanning change. No. What's my diagnosis? What will happen? Diagnosis and prognosis is our business. That's what we care for. But do you think we are very busy? We are on our cell phone all the time. We buy a Don't do that. Demand a diagnosis. You could change the doctor's mind about it with this. An empowered parent will ask the kind of question that will make the doctor responsible. Then they might put the bomb under your car. You are the one who is causing all the trouble. Now, by the way, it's a beautiful opportunity. Teach them how to ask questions. 
Do you think you will not some spectrum can be taught driving? What can one expect about the reflexes on the road? Bad question. Autism is not a motor disorder. As young children they are clumsy. As adults they are completely normal, motorically. I am right now dealing with a 37 year old Asperger disorder with borderline personality disorder, with narcissistic personality disorder. He is the most mean son of a bitch in America. Parents have completely given up. Father has left home. These are wealthy people. After two and a half years, mother fired me. Why? They don't want to accept the diagnosis. Ma, why could it be Ada Chesu? The Ada Chesu. Ma, why could it be different from the other? Could it be more than the other? Do you know what is? He is paranoid also. Pitchy, really. On the place of the mother of the mother of the mother of the mother, Pitchy to write down. Hello. This guy is 37 years old. They are looking for a young innocent girl from Rajmandri. They are going to destroy her life also. No, this is very bad. Very bad. This guy was caught driving 89 miles per hour in a 25 MPA school zone without a license. He can drive very fast. Autism does not affect their driving ability, but you can kill somebody. Unless you are a responsible individual, unless you have been behaving well, unless you understand the rules, you are not getting drive. Actually, whoever is this parent, whose kid is asking to drive, he needs a lot of help in other ways. That means he has not developed insight. The biggest thing missing in autism is nano there. Intelligence may be there, but nano is not there. Insight. What kind of behavioral challenges are seen with adolescents with developmental disabilities? What would be your advice for parents of teenagers, adolescents on it? That is a bad question. This is a very different question in autism as opposed to other developmental disabilities. Other developmental disabilities are dependent on motoric disability, movement, or intellectual. If it is an intellectual disability, such as mental retardation with an IQ of 65, you got serious problems in your life. If it is a developmental disability with an IQ of 122 with a pension deficit hyperactivity disorder, it's easy to treat. It depends on the nature of the developmental disability and how old is the child, what skills he has, and what are these problems? But he needs proper characterization of his condition. That I'm finding it hard in Hyderabad. There are not enough psychologists who do learning diagnostic assessments. What would be your advice for parents, of teenagers, adolescents on the autism spectrum? Watch out for mood. As a child gets older, they develop anxiety and mood problems. If they are the depressed, stay in their room. Do you know what is Hachiki Mori? You are going to read Hachiki Mori tonight. Hachiki Mori is a Japanese phenomenon. It's very dramatic. The common English word for Hachiki Mori is shut in. 19 year old, intelligent, finished high school, never left the basement. He plays video games all day, mother plays the food, lunch, dinner, sleeps until 3 p.m., is not socialized. When people come to visit, he will not come out of the room. He is now 23, still playing video games and reads extraordinarily interesting stuff that is of interest to him. He is not employable. He has no work skill, does not appreciate or understand the concept of a good day's pay or a good day's work. Why? Why? One such Hakiki Mori, high functioning Asperger, recently killed 28 people. You have heard that? You know what his problem was? High functioning Asperger with borderline personality disorder and he went psychotic. In the preceding two years before his death, he manipulated his mother to buy like seven long guns. In the last one year before his death, he was very angry with his mother. 
because he wanted to hospitalize him for a mental hospital. He didn't want to go. He lived in his room for two years. He lived in a downstairs room. He put black paper on all the glasses. The darkness could not see inside. The door was all destroyed. At about 9.45 a.m., the mother would knock on the door. He would open the door and give her last night dinner plates. She would take the dirty plates, give him fresh breakfast. At 4 p.m., she knocks on the door, he opens the door, he gives her the dirty lunch plate, and she gives him, you know, the next day. Once a week, he would give her the dirty laundry. He lived like that for two years. On that day, January 21, 2011, he went to his mother's old school and shot 26 people dead. When the police went to their home, what did they find? You don't know the story? How about? He shot his mother. How? Bullet, bullet, he, he shot her first. How did he kill her? He shot her four times in her head. Now, if I shoot you in her head, what happens? So no, you're dead, right? Did I go down and shoot you three more times? Why? Why? He was mad at her. He was angry at her because he was, she was going to take him out of his room and put him in a mental hospital. He went through. Be careful. As per the desire, the people stay home. They dig themselves into the a little hole. They don't come out. That is called the Hachuki mode. This is a very important phenomenon. I'm not saying you have one of those kids, but you could, especially the higher functioning ones. This kid, his name is Andrew Land, Andrew. Oh, I should not forget. When he was two years old, in his village, every time Andrew had a haircut, it was a town event. Four daughters had to hold him down because he could not handle the sound of the singers. When he was three, when he was three, his favorite pastime was, favorite meal was, mother would take him to McDonald's for chicken nuggets. He would eat, open each nugget and he would look at the meat. If it's white meat, he would eat. If it's brown meat, he would throw it up. In the restaurant. And the white meat inside the chicken nugget, if it's got a perfect cube, he would not eat. Mother had to bring a knife from home because the McDonald's won't give you a knife. He cut it into cubes, she would eat. Three years old. At age nine, this son of a gun went to school without a book bag. Every kid in America carries a book bag. He carried a metal briefcase with a combination lock. At 13, he was the president of the math club. At 17, he graduated one year, one year early. Why? He did not want to get psychological assessment. He said, I don't want a psychological assessment, I'm going to get ready to get out. He went home, stayed inside the basement for two more years. You know the story? Mother was dead. Mother was dead. So why am I telling you like this? You have an autistic child who has only this much autism. You have another autism who is low functioning. You have another autism who is a genius, right? So why? Degree of autism. Please don't confuse that word with the spectrum. It's not the spectrum of intellect. The spectrum of the different reasons, those are the five conditions in the spectrum. What would be your advice for parents and teenagers? Watch out. Advice for parents and teenagers with autism? The most important thing? What? Do you know specialists here? Do you look it up? How come you read so much in their own? This is very important to me. Specialist Stan. It's a Danish company. The gentleman had an autistic child. He created a company. He only hires autistics. Why? Do you know why? Yes. They don't lie. They don't lie. They're a good worker. They're very rigid. So he makes them test this or solve their problem. Because if you give an autistic kid, who has good mathematical abilities, a job, he will come to work on time, he will never cheat you, he will never fall sick, and he's good with his work. In software uh, testing, it's very important to have honesty. He had 500 people, teenagers. So the question to teenagers, make him ready for the pleasure. <coughs> Give 
actually works here. Okay? Okay. One, one minute. One minute. How much time do you have for questions? That is what I will ask you. I have, actually, I told you I'm very jealous about both of you. I all stayed my time. Because I'm just watching the two of them, how I can do it, I might. So I'm staying extra time, because my brother-in-law and another officer are waiting. That's how much fun it is. Please raise your hand. I'll come to you with the microphone. Let's ask the microphone before you get in the recording. Okay. Uh, I just, uh, you know, uh, I question if maybe my son is having my TV. TV? Yeah. My. How old is he? Nine and a half. At what age was he diagnosed? Uh, four years. Four. Have you been reading the literature? I mean, uh, say it Have you been current on the ADD, ADHD literature? There is a warning throughout the world. If your child is diagnosed to have ADD too early in his life, watch out. It is just one symptom of a more serious condition. Right. Are you sure he has only ADD? I think so. Okay. Who is your doctor? How sure is he? Who is the doctor? Uh, we, actually, I, my question is, yeah, I was diagnosed in the US. We uh, in the US for 15 years. Recently, I came back to India. Uh, Who is the doctor in the US? Uh, we were, um, what kind of doctor? He we, um, went through the you know, three hours or four hours of public uh, testing. Why? Speech. Why? Why? They don't do that as they Watch out. They do not do that kind of testing at age 3. The child is only 4 now. No, the child is 9 now. 9, okay, alright. At the end, what was the diagnosis? Uh, he is in spectrum. At the end, at the time, 2 years ago. Uh... That's where I was going. <laughs> that is where I was going. What is this? He is on the spectrum. On the spectrum of wealth, on the spectrum of beauty. No, don't say it. Okay. Say it. He's in the artificial spectrum. No. <laughs> that, that's what the diagnosis is. AC. That's why I asked you first, are you current in reading? Uh, no, no, you are current. No, don't use that. AST, PST, DDD. No, they are dead. One diagnosis. What is this? Now, some of the people were chuckling and laughing when I went for his neck, right? I knew what happened here. I knew what happened. Why are you mentioning ADD? Do you remember the autism comorbidities? You should not say ADD. One of the symptoms of autism is that way. Right. Okay. So my question is, uh, uh, you know, we are debating whether to stay back in India or go back to US. So in general, uh, I feel US has better infrastructure, but at the same time, they have to fight with the school district to get each and every service. So I'm just curious, I mean, what is your hypothesis? Are you well employed in the US? Yes. Go. This question is wrong. Okay. Are you barely alive in the US? No. Does the child have grandparents here? Yes. Are they educated? Yes. Are they well off? Not well off. Okay. Go. Are you making periods like the Andhra IT guy barely alive? Are you making good money? Go. Money is there. Money is there. You have money? Why would you get the next? Nice? Which, which part of US do you think is better? For this condition? Uh, Northeast. Massachusetts, New York, Connecticut, maybe Rhode Island. How about Don't go south. Don't go to the south. California? California. God bless California. Okay. Last question, Dallas. Salve. Texas. No, Salve matters. Salve matters. If you make good money, go. Otherwise, go. Okay, next question. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Sir, uh, what about delayed migrations and all that? Delayed uh, migrations is a very serious disorder. Delayed migrations is a diagnosis that could be made on the MRI, yeah. but that has not been done. No, my son has delayed migrations. That's a very serious disorder. Okay. Due to what? Do you know? 
What is the workup? What is the diagnosis? Yeah, it's uh, direct migration. Uh, Due There's some white substance inside. White matter? Yeah, okay. Due to? Is it premature baby? Yeah, premature. If you are a premature baby and the white matter is delayed in myelination, the prematurity is related with oxygen deprivation effectively. So don't mention cough, don't mention shortness of breath, don't mention phlegm with blood, mention tuberculosis, mention cancer, mention lung abscess. Diagnosis. What's your diagnosis? Autism. No, autism is a symptom. What's the diagnosis? What happened to the brain? It is called small or big? It's big. Big. That's autism. Primary autism. He happened to have been premature. If he was premature and the brain was damaged, his skull would be small. So this is basically autism? No. You need a doctor who explains to you that damn MRI. So you don't kill yourself with white substance. The moment you said white substance, I will train for your doctor. Because we don't like that. No, he didn't say that. He didn't say that. He didn't say that. He didn't say that. You said white substance. Yeah, white substance. No, there is no white substance. There is I mean, no white substance. There is no white substance. The white substance is like Osama bin Laden inside the temple. It's not possible. But it's mentioned white in matter. The no, it did not. Then fire the light. Okay. Take some questions. Yes. Three questions. I would assume they're waiting a long time. Uh, doctor, I have a five-year-old doctor with autism. She was diagnosed with two and a half. Uh, we got a dose done. And a dose of two and a half or a dose of five? Two and a half. Really? Okay. Which yeah. state? Yeah. Which state? State. I Which think. state? Which country? In India. You got a dose in Hyderabad yes. at two and a half? Yes. God bless India. Okay. Uh, it was by Dr. Padma Palvai from Rainbow and she I don't know is see. from. Like uh, she showed us the uh, test uh, details. There was it was for toddlers. It was written. It's, the child has so, autism. Yes. What's the question? The question is: so, My child is improving with ABA. Do I need to go to the doctor time and again, maybe after three years, four years? Uh, because you know it, it is said that some kids get better and get out it, of the spectrum. Is that the question? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, you know, when he goes to a birthday party, she knows how to behave. When she goes to a birthday party, she knows it's the other girl's day birthday party. She's nowhere near, she's nowhere near it. Autism is a social communication disorder. When the child is able to socially communicate, can figure out the other child. The other child likes me, she doesn't like me. I know it will be there with her. Huh? This then, condition. Then why are you asking yeah. questions? What will happen three years from now? You are nowhere there, madam. You are nowhere there. And I you have one, another two, small two, question. Three, I got your point. Okay. I have another one small question. Uh, she stims a lot. She hits something on the chin. And the ABA therapist says that it's, uh, she wants to calm herself down. She is able to communicate to me what she needs. But I cannot demarcate whether it is stimming or it's for my attention seeking or it's a behavior. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. When she learns how to communicate, she will do less of all of those things. Improve her communication in any which way. Thank you. Yeah.